Raquel from the blog Out of the Past, and I'm here with another book review video. This is the third book review I'm doing for my summer reading challenge, which I host every year, and I encourage people to read up to six different classic film books from late May, early June, down to um, mid-September. So um, I don't know if I'll get to all six this summer, but I will try to get at least four or five. I've done three, so that's a good start at least. So the book I'm talking about in this video is this one right here, Hollywood Black, The Stars, The Films, The Filmmakers by Donald Bogle. It's published by TCM and Running Press. So this is kind of like a hybrid coffee table style book, um, but also it's full of really great information. So this I would say is the perfect primer if you're learning, if you're learning for the first time about um, African American film history, or even if you know a lot and you want maybe some of the context or some ideas kind of reinforced, and chances are you might actually learn something that um, you had forgotten or um, that you didn't know before. So this is really, I mean, intended for beginners, newbies, but I think anyone from like a newbie to a expert and every shade in between. Will enjoy this book. And Donald Bogle himself is um, the preeminent uh, expert historian on um, African American film history, so you know you're in good hands. And the book actually starts off with a foreword by the late great um, John Singleton, and it's quite moving. Um, and then it has an introduction um, to the book with Sidney Poitier with uh, Rod Steiger and In the Heat of the Night. So the book has a lot of, um, it doesn't have two page spreads as much, but it has um, big full color um, photographs, black and white photographs, and then also um, lots of smaller pictures as well throughout. So the book takes you from the very beginning of cinema in the silent era, and there's a whole chapter devoted to silent films. And then it goes decade by decade. It goes from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and then, oh, and 90s. And then the last chapter is basically the 21st century up to today. So each decade um, gets its own um, section. So this one says the early years. See, there's also posters. Um, you know, publicity shots, portraits, all sorts of great images here too. And so basically it takes you through um, and e within each chapter are themed essays. And those essays are usually about one or two actors in particular, but there's also lots of information about directors as well. And the themed essays, like for example, the one I just showed you was about Step and Fetch It. And then um, this one here is about Bill Bojangles Robinson and the films he did with Shirley Temple. And there's also lots, lots of really great information about Hattie McDaniel. There's a whole section about Teresa Harris, which I really loved. I love her. Um, the information about Hattie McDaniel is super interesting. And um, try to find, there's a whole section on Herb Jeffries, the black singing cowboy, which um, I did um, a research project on him and wrote an article, and he was super interesting to learn about, so I was really excited to learn about him here. There's information about Lena Horne, Dorothy Dandridge, and basically um, it takes you through and gives you context about the different um, times in which these African-American performers or directors, filmmakers, were working. So, you know, what are the ramifications of the depression? Um, how did, um, how were um, black actors represented after World War II? Um, how did the civil rights era affect um, film? Then um, once it gets to the 70s and black exploitation, everything kind of explodes. And what's interesting is that each decade kind of gets um, um, an equal amount of time devoted to it, but that's actually kind of a downside for the more recent, like here, let's do the right thing. Um, so for the more recent um, decades, because there are so many more films, a lot of more do like doors opened up, there's a lot more representation, um, and there were a lot more players involved, so it ends up being that 
uh, there's John Singleton again, and it ends up being that some of it reads kind of like a list, like he's like the author is trying to cover as much as possible, so there isn't as much time to devote to the different movies. And I thought that was kind of a downside of of maybe like this, maybe like maybe more like the eighties on, um, but. Because, I mean, it's hard, it's kind of like a double-edged sword because you, I mean, each decade is represented equally, but then some decades have more than other decades. So it would have been interesting to have it be a two-part book where maybe it stops at the end of the 60s and then the second book picks up with the black exploitation films of the 70s and continues to today. Um, and that second book maybe could be a little longer or maybe there could have been some more time devoted to the classic films, but um, it really just does work as a book about the beginning to modern day. So even though it does feel a little rushed at the end, um, it still like, you still kind of want the bigger picture. So if anything, this can be a springboard to um, research, find out more information. I made a huge list of movies that I haven't seen yet that I want to see and um, before I even read the book from cover to cover I was already dipping into it for research so it is really great for research. It's not a reference book though because of the thematic essays so you can dip in and out of it, read like maybe essay at a time but I wouldn't um, consider this just like you know a dictionary or like a like a filmography. It's definitely um, lots of context is provided, lots of um, biographical information, and lots of observations from from the author himself, which I think were very, very valuable. This is also really uh, just an approachable book. It's really for everybody. I don't think that anyone would be intimidated by reading this. It's just super interesting, well written, well put together, um, and it's actually quite beautiful and quite elegant as well. Um, I like the black and gold design here. And then here you have a mix of actors and actresses from classic era and then um, from the modern day. And then on the back as well, this is the dust jacket. You have more actors and actresses. It's really great. I even like the spine. It's very nice. It looks great on a shelf. Um, there's it has a the self cover is really not much. It's just just the self cover there. And then I was kind of disappointed they didn't have like fancy papers. Oh well. Um, but otherwise it's like, it's nice and sturdy. Um, as I said, it's a hybrid of like a coffee table book and just a regular book. So it looks great on your shelf, but also it's really easy to hold. And I would not get this as like an object to display. You have to read this, it's amazing. Um, so that is Hollywood Black. And if you want to learn more about my thoughts on the book, I did a podcast episode with Carl Sweeney of the Movie Palace podcast where we talked about this book, as well as two other books from TCM and Running Press, including Dynamic, Dynamic Dames and um, Forbidden Hollywood. So I have videos about those two books, but if you want to hear me talk more about books, I have those. And I have a review of this one coming soon as well on my blog. So um, I hope you're interested in this book. Let me know in the comment section below if you're thinking about picking it up. And um, anyways, I want to thank TCM and Running Press for sending me this for review. And I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.